welcome to Matt's Own HD Sportsnet, presented by the JMU Alumni Association. We're joined by track and field head coach Shuri Hicks for another Coaches Show. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So this past weekend, the team competed in split squad meets. And first off, I want to talk about the uh, George Mason Mason Spring Invitational. Mm -hmm. um, so how did you think the team did there? I know there's a lot of throwers were there and a few of the other teammates. So mm -hmm. how do you think the team did? Well, we took the throwers and we took the distance group as well to the uh, Mason meet. And I thought that considering the conditions that we uh, competed in, it was snow at time, it was just straight ice at time, it was windy, the wind had to be over, well, Coach Rinka was saying it was a 30 degree wind chill. So for our girls to persevere through that and compete, just like with everybody else, um, I thought that they did a pretty good job. People weren't too far off for their personal best. Um, we had people close to their top throw for the season, our top um, marks for the season. And so considering the conditions and that everybody else had to compete under that as well, um, I thought we did pretty good. It showed that we are competitive in any environment and that we, as a team, are competitive and a strong force to be rec reckoned with. So. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And the team also had a lot of success at the University of Virginia's yes. Lou Onesty Invitational. We mm -hmm. had more uh, sprinters there and some more field athletes. So how did you think the team performed there? Once again, people not too far off of their PR. We had... Kennedy King also close to her PR and had a seasonal best in the long jump. We also had Nicolette PR in the long jump, if I'm correct. So I thought, once again, it was another meet where everybody showed their competitive proudness and that as a team, once again, in the two different meets, we showed a competitive edge as a group. And so we're really excited about that, that our kids were strong mentally and physically enough to be able to work through those conditions. Gotcha. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's been a very busy spring outdoor season, um, but this upcoming weekend, it's kind of a little bit of a break for you guys. There's no meets on the schedule right now. Um, so how are you and the coaches, as well as our, as well as our athletes, uh, going to use that time to sort of rest some, prepare for the next meet coming up, things like that? Well, a lot of the coaches were using this opportunity as a time to... Uh, review what's been going on so far in the last couple of meets and to work on the things that we've identified that we needed to work on and strengthen on some of the weaker areas or not so strong areas. Um, so that's what we're doing, going back, uh, tweaking some of the small things uh, and getting ready for our next meet at home. So that's what we're doing. Exactly. Yeah, the weekend after the break, mm -hmm. um, we have the JMU Home Invitational, which is really exciting for a lot of people. It's our one home meet that we get to host every year. Yes. Um, so how are you and uh, everybody involved looking forward to that meet coming up? Well, we're excited. The student athletes are excited. They just can't wait to keep inviting their friends and classmates and professors and everybody on campus, the JMU community. We really look forward to seeing the community come out strong. Uh, so that's one of our things that we're excited about. Rarely do we have the opportunity to compete at home, and so this gives us an opportunity to compete in front of our um, JMU community and Harrisonburg community. So we're excited about that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely uh, stay tuned to JMUsports.com and at track, JMU Track Field on Twitter. Uh, that home meet that we mentioned is Saturday, April 23rd, so make sure you're out at University Park uh, to root on the Dukes. Coach, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me.